Thank you, President. I would like to take this chance and uh, to express my sincerest condolences to all girls and women in India that have suffered horrific and barbaric violence against them. I would like to assure that the EU is taking this extremely seriously and is devoted in helping to improve the situation as fast as possible. The recent brutal rape and murder of the 23-year-old student from New Delhi is unfortunately not a unique case in India today. Physical and psychological violence against women is deeply rooted in the feudal and patriarchal society, which has led to a huge inequalities between men and women. As already some colleagues mentioned, it is estimated that rape is reported every 21 minutes in India, which in 2011 accounted for 24,000 reported cases. As a judicial procedure usually does not bring any justice, many victims never report being abused. From more than 635 rapes cases reported in Delhi in 2012, only one case led to conviction. This is outrageous and I call the EU to do all in its powers to ensure that India reforms its legislation and starts convicting those responsible for these terrible cases. The EU has committed 470 million euros for India for the period of 2007 to 2013 in support of the health and education programs. In the ongoing year and for the next financial period, the EU has to emphasize on the necessity to allocate this support to increase women's rights in India. Same applies to member states' representations in India, which need to prioritize programs addressing violence against women and girls. In addition, the sexual abuse, according to analyzed government data, more than 100,000 women are burned to death and more than 125,000 die from violent injuries in India every year. These tragic numbers demonstrate the scale of the problem and it needs to change. This resolution calls on the democratic Indian government to ensure the respect for democratic principles, fundamental rights and human rights in particular, the rule of law and the rights of women. I hope that India reacts immediately and in 2013 it will be not, it will be not considered uh, one of the worst places in the world in which to live as a woman as it happened in the past.